In this video, we're going to take a look at project management, but in this case, we're going to look at it from uh, an uncertainty perspective. What's the, uh, what's the expectation uh, given we have optimistic, most likely, and pessimistic estimates of task completion? We're going to draw a network diagram. We're going to determine the critical path, expected completion time, variance of expected completion time, which will then allow us to figure out the probability of getting done uh, by, by certain times. Uh, which will allow us to evaluate risk. So in order to draw the network diagram, we have to have the expected, the, the expected completion time for specific tasks. And that's equal to A, which is the optimistic, plus 4M, which is the most likely, plus B, which is the pessimistic, over 6. So this is a weighted average that just weights the most likely a little bit. So it gives you a central tendency. So we're going to do that expected completion time. And we're going to do 1 plus 4 times 3 plus 4, which is 1617 divided by 6 is going to give us 2.83. The next one is 2 plus 4 times 6 is 18 plus 6 is 24 divided by 6 is 4. In this case, if you look, uh, 4 is exactly 2 from the pessimistic, 6, and exactly 2 from the optimistic, uh, 2. So in that case, we would know it is 4. So we really only need to, it's always good to calculate it, but we only need to calculate it for those that aren't symmetric. So 2 to 3 is 1, 3 to 5 is 2, so that one isn't symmetric. 2 plus 4 times 3 plus 5 divided by 6 is going to give us 3.17. 3, 4, 5 is symmetric, that's going to give us 4. 3, 5, 7 is symmetric, that's going to give us 5. And 5, 7, 9 is symmetric, that's going to give us 7. Then to calculate the variance of uh, the variance of uh, tasks is equal to a minus b over six squared. So in this case, we have uh, four minus uh, one is three divided by six is 0.66, uh, no, it's 0 0.5, squared is 0 0.25, sorry, variance, 0 0.25. So this is just, and this was here. Uh, similarly, we would then calculate it 0 0.44 is 6 minus 2, which is 4, divided by 6, uh, and then squared is 0.44, we would have 0 0.25, 0 0.11, 0 0.44, and 0 0.44. So now we have the expected times and the variances of expected times. We can then go ahead and draw the network. Uh, we're going to draw the network start. A has no predecessors and the expected time is 2.83. B has no predecessors, and the expected time is 4. C, sorry, D has no predecessors, and the expected time is 4. B comes out of A. Four. C comes out of B, and it's three point one seven. E comes out of D, and is five. And F comes out of uh, E, and is seven. Those both then go into a finish node. So we've drawn the basic network with the precedence. Now we're going to do the pass through left to right. 0, 2.83, 2.83, 2.83. 
6.83 plus 3.17 is going to give us 8. And we'll go do the bottom pass here. 0, 4, 4, 9, 9, 16. So then we take the biggest number, 16, 9, 9, 4, 4, 0, and then we go 16 here, and we will get 14.83. Subtract, we take 14.83, and we would get 10.83. 10.83 minus 2.83 is equal to 8. And so we have slack up here. And no slack here. So the critical path is DEF. Expected completion time is the longest path, is the critical path, is 16. And the variance of project completion is the sum of the variances on critical path. So DEF would be 0 0.11 plus 0 0.44 plus 0 0.44 equal to 0 0.99. So there we have the basics of the project network. We've looked at the precedence diagram. We've done left to right. We've found the critical path, the critical. So now we can answer a number of questions on, uh, uh, on, uh, the, uh, on the project network. So let's ask first. What is the probability of completing the project in 16 days? Well, if we look, 16 days is the expected completion time. We know this is normal. so. Uh, Probability of finishing at expected time is 50% because it's in the middle of the normal distribution, no calculation required. C, what is the next question? What is the probability will be completed in 18 days? In that case, we can calculate Z is equal to T target, T minus T expected over the standard deviation of project, which is equal to 18 minus 16. So this is the expected time. This is the target time divided by the standard deviation, which is the square root of the uh, variance is equal to just people often forget this uh, that the standard deviation is a square root that is something that they forget all the time 2 divided by 0 
In this case, it didn't matter a whole much because the square root is the same. It's equal to 2.02. .02. And now we will use the standard normal table. Uh, if you're doing it as part of an exam, you'd get the standard normal table from me, but this, the standard normal table is, uh, you can Google it, it's usually in your textbook, so you can find it. From the standard normal table, you look up 2.02, .02 and you get 9 point, oh sorry, 0 0.978 to two decimal places. So you would get 0 0.98 is the 0 0.98 or 98% probability that finished in 18 days. What is the probability of finishing in 14 days? Probability of finishing in 14 days is 1 minus the probability of 18 days because of symmetry of the normal distribution. Now you could uh, you could calculate z the same the same way as we did back here, although you would get a negative number. You would then look up that negative number uh, and get this, and then do one minus. So all we've done is done the one minus because we understood symmetry in this case. But but you could calculate it; it would be straightforward. And so that fourteen days is 1 minus 0 0.98 equals 0 0.02. It's fine if you calculate, but if you just remember in this case that it's symmetric, uh, it will be easier for you. So it's fine either way. And the last question is, what is probability of between 14 and 18 days? In that case, we remember the normal distribution. This is 16 at the top. This is 14, and we've got that, and this is 18, and we've got... So the, the probability of between 14 and 18 days is this minus this. So that equals 0 0.98 minus 0 0.02 equals 0 0.96, or... 96% probability of finishing between 14 and 18 days. So this is really just another way of looking at, at uh, project management. And in this case, we have uncertainty. We're going to uh, start with the basic parameters. We're going to do expected times, variances of expected times. We're going to then draw the project network, figure out the critical path. That's the one we're concerned about. Figure out the expected time, which we've got here, which is 16, and the variance, which is the sum of the 
of the variances of the tasks on the critical path. We then have the simple formula of Z, and we understand the standard normal table. And away we go. We can answer the basic questions that we've been given. So that's it for project management with uncertainty. Thanks.